Hey, Washington. My name's George Santos. I'm from New York City. If you're from New York, you know what they did to me. They did to me what they did to Donald J. Trump. They stole my election. For 14 days, I was congressman-elect of the 3rd Congressional District of New York. The first ever biggest upset for a Republican in New York City. And what did they do? When they were too busy printing 280,000 ballots in my district and shipping them to Pennsylvania, they sneaked in a few from my opponent. And what did they do? They stole it. Hey everybody, Maggio Brani here. That was George Santos. The Santos kid was a friend of mine. No, he was not. This dude, if you haven't heard about George Santos, please put this on pause right now and Google George Santos. It's the most entertaining news in all of politics. This guy is the biggest fraud since Donald Trump. He's a huge fraud. And the video you just saw was him at the uh, uh, January 6th, like 2021, the, the, during those rallies, claiming that his election in 2020 had been stolen. And he said that they sneaked in some votes to steal the election from him. It snuck in. But who's keeping track after George Santos had come out and lied his way to win in 2022? He said he was Jewish. He said his parents, grandparents were in the Holocaust. They weren't. They were in Brazil at the time. I guess he said they survived the Holocaust. So I guess you could say they survived the Holocaust because they were in Brazil surviving the Holocaust that was not happening in Brazil. Um, then when they asked him, they go, you said you're Jewish. He goes, I'm not Jewish. I'm Jewish. What? And it got so bad that even Republicans in New York have, have asked him to step down. Watch this. His lies were not mere fibs. He disgraced the House of Representatives. And in particular, his fabrications went too far. Many groups were hurt. Specifically, I look at those families that were touched by the horrors of the Holocaust and feel for them. He has no place in the Nassau County Republican Committee nor should he serve in public service, nor as an elected official. So there you have it. The Republicans from uh, New York are saying that he's a disgrace and he should resign. It's bad when the Republicans are telling you to resign. You, you know how many stories Donald Trump made up and nobody said for him to resign? You know how much uh, stuff Matt Gates has done? This is the same party that didn't ask Matt Gates or Jim Jordan to resign uh, what's her name? Marjorie Taylor Greene. They didn't ask her to resign when she made all the comments about Jews. Matt Gates possibly uh, having relationships there with uh, underage girls. Jim Jordan and his scandal in Ohio, which we still don't know much about. There's a lot you can do in the Republican Party and they won't ask you to resign. But this guy, they're saying, George, resign. The question is, will he, won't he? The question is, how much Will the pressure pile up? The reporters are putting pressure. Check this out. Will you step down? I will not. Yes, we're going to need a little bit of space here. The New York Republicans are calling you a disgrace. You will not resign. What is your response to New York Republicans? So there you go. He doesn't really have an answer for it. They've been chasing him every day in Congress. It's so fun to watch. It's one of the most entertaining things since uh, Kevin McCarthy lost the speaker vote 15 times or whatever it was. Uh, that was really entertaining. This is even more entertaining. Wow, I'm so happy that the Republicans have won uh, the control in Congress and now they got all these guys. Oh my gosh. By the way, the Republicans uh, have a four, uh, four candidate lead in Congress. That's why they're running Congress right now. But if this guy resigns, they have to do a special election and then a Democrat comes in. All of a sudden, they only have three. They only have three more. And then what happens if the far right Republicans that are cuckoo keep pushing an agenda that goes nowhere? And maybe some of the more moderate Republicans say, you know what? We're just going to be independents, kind of like that guy Angus King over there. Uh, then if enough of them leave, you could end up with a 50-50 split in the House. How about that, George Santos? Santos kid was a friend of mine. Da, 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 da. I hope you enjoy this ride. Let's see if by next week he's gone. We'll see. I think he's going to go. 
He's going to have to go soon. Um, Kevin McCarthy ain't going to ask him to go because Kevin McCarthy's got no spine. But George Santos is on the way out. I'm Maz Jobrani. Watch me live. Come watch me live. I'm on tour. I'll see you there. See you later. Santos kid was a friend of mine. No, he was not. Ow!